Okay guys, I made a new discovery and I wanted to share it with you. This is amazing, so if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Now, let's begin. This is the Bitcoin chart and if you've been a long time subscriber, you already know about these lines. But today I want to focus on the regression lines. On the top, we have the blue line, right? Then we have the white line and we have the red line, which is the bottom regression line. Just to refresh your mind, you can consider the white line as the trend of Bitcoin. It is an estimation of the trend of Bitcoin because over time, you can see that Bitcoin is following this line. What do I mean by that? It's very simple. You see that from here, even if we go a little bit down like this, you see that Bitcoin started below the white line. So we were here. Then we touched the white line, we came back down, then we retouched it, we came back down, we crossed it, we reached the top line, right? But we came back down around the white line before crossing it again. Then we came back up to test the white line, we came back up to test the white line, up, down to the white line again, up, down to the white line, then we crossed it, we came back to the white line, we crossed it, top, we came back down to the white line, we crossed it, we came back to the white line. So you see the pattern, right? We always come back to the white line, every time. So that's why we can consider this white line as an estimate of the trend of Bitcoin and as the mean of the price of Bitcoin. In order to understand the rest of the video, you need to get this concept first. So if it's not clear, please come back to the very beginning of the video and listen to it again. So now I want to show you my discovery. Let's consider each top of Bitcoin. So we have one top just right here. Let me change the color to yellow. Then we have another top just right here. We have a top here and we have our latest top just right here. Now we will draw some lines. So let's take a line from the top and do a projection of the top on the trend of Bitcoin, meaning on the white line of Bitcoin, okay? So we have this point. Then we will draw again another line, but this time to the price of Bitcoin. This is very interesting, guys. So we are getting this point. So I will circle it. Now let's do the same thing from this top. Projection on the white line. Then we draw another line. But this time on the price of Bitcoin. Again, top. Projection on the white line. This is very precise. Then we draw projection just right here. Okay, guys, on the price of Bitcoin. And last but not least, we will draw a line from the top that we have just right here on the white line. Okay. And we will draw a line coming back down like this. So now let's go back to the first top and you will see what I want to show. Okay, so just right here, you can see that on this point, right, that we found, after crossing this date of the projection, Bitcoin went into a parabolic move. Bit Bitcoin had a moonshot, right? It's very important. Then we have this point, right? So after crossing this date, again, Bitcoin went into a parabolic move. And even if we have this little consolidation, overall, after crossing the line, we went into a parabolic move. And I'm not done just yet. Look, here it was the same thing. We can be a little bit more precise. So let me draw it well, have here, here, okay, yes, okay, it gives us the same date. 
to be very precise and you have to be very precise each time. And as you can see here, we crossed it and here we went into a parabolic move again. We crossed it right and then boom, we reached our top. That's why I think that we can draw the same thing for this top, right? So if we draw the lines correctly, so I will put it like this, I will put it like this on the white line, right? Then I will draw this line like this and I will draw this line like this. So I think, I really think that if we draw a vertical line this time, so let's take the vertical line, we will put it there and you see the date just right here. So at the very beginning of June, after crossing this line, I think that Bitcoin will start going parabolic. Of course, this is the bullish scenario because here you see the bottom regression line in red, right? And we know that every time that Bitcoin was below this line, it was a great opportunity to accumulate. Why do I say this? Because now you have to focus on the red line and you see that every time that Bitcoin crossed this red line, it was a great opportunity to accumulate because after this, Bitcoin went to the moon. So here was a great opportunity. Here was a great opportunity. Here again, here again, when we touched it, all this phase when we were below the red line, it was a great opportunity again. Here, when we touched it, here during the COVID crisis, here when we touched it, and here again, recently, it was a perfect opportunity. And right now, we are trending above the red line. This is very important because we are trying to find support on it. And if we are able to maintain a level above the red line, it will give confidence to the bulls to push the price to higher prices. And what you need to understand, this is very, very important and it's very interesting because what does it mean? It means that here we have the white line. So the white line is going up, 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 up. Okay. And at some points we have the white line that is going higher than the previous high. This is what it means, right? For example, when the white line was here, you see that the white line went higher than the previous high. And starting from this point, Bitcoin has to catch up with the trend of the white line, right? Because the white line is the trend of Bitcoin. So it has to keep up with it. So when we are too far away from it and it's starting going higher than the previous high, Bitcoin has to go parabolic to keep up with the trend. And here it was the same thing. The trend is going higher than the previous all time high. So Bitcoin has to keep up with it and go higher again. Here, the trend is going higher than the previous all time high. So Bitcoin again from here has to keep up with it and has to go up. And that's why I think that to keep up with the white line as the white line will go higher than the previous highs, Bitcoin will have to go up. Of course, there is no guarantee, but now you can understand why this scenario is very probable. So let me know what you think about this analysis. I will share some updates with you on this channel and on Twitter. So June, guys, it all begins in June after crossing this date. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think about this analysis and subscribe to the channel. That's all for today's video and as always, time will tell.